Well, you're going to be hearing a lot about rising temperatures as we go into next week, but it will be a gradual climb to see those 60s and maybe even the 70s. Here are the projected temperatures in future cast mode. And as we head into tomorrow, temperatures rising into the low to mid 40s. We'll talk more about your Sunday future cast in just a minute. Here's a look at Monday morning, and this is an important point to emphasize because you're going to be hearing about the 50s on the way for Monday, but it does start cool in the morning and as we head into the afternoon, upper 40s to around 50 degrees. That's for inland spots. That's for you in Smithfield, Woonsocket. If you're at the coast, you stay in the 40s for pretty much the entire day because of those gusty winds coming in from the southwest. And then it's on Tuesday and Wednesday where we start to approach the 60s. Not a bad night here in Narragansett. Certainly jacket worthy with temperatures in the 20s, a little bit of a breeze out there. And on the eyewitness news threat tracker, we will leave you in the low category for the next several days. Current temperatures in the upper 20s in Smithfield, 32 in Newport, 33 westerly, and 34 on Block Island. So on the satellite map, I am tracking some snow off to the west, but the bulk of this will miss us to the south. Now, there will be some potential flurries and flakes very early tomorrow morning, even through the late morning, but most of us will not be seeing anything. I want to talk briefly about water temperatures. Currently, we're around 40 degrees, and this trend will pretty much hold into next week. So even though the air mass will try to warm things into the 60s, maybe the 70s, because the water is cool, we'll be pulling in some of those cooler breezes off of the ocean from the west and southwest for a good uh, part of the week. Now there may be a day on Tuesday where the winds shift around a little bit, but basically our uh, direction for wind flow will be like this. And you can see with this trajectory, it moves and kind of takes that ocean air and pushes it on to places like Newport and Jamestown. So that is something to keep in mind as we head into next week with those warmer temperatures on the way. It just won't be quite as warm at the coast, but still not bad. Tomorrow afternoon, a smidge warmer than what we had today. Temperatures into the low to mid 40s with a light wind out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then looking at the next several days, you can see that slow climb begins. Monday, 52 inland. Tuesday, 60. Now on Tuesday, this is probably the part of the forecast with the highest amount of uncertainty because on Tuesday afternoon, yes, you guessed it, a potential backdoor cold front. You can see the wind shifting around from the east. That pulls in that cooler air from the east. And if this cooler air manages to penetrate further towards Providence, that could actually pull down those Providence temperatures. So that is something we will continue to track as we head into Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, yeah, we're talking spring fever. 65 to 70 inland the coast into the upper 50s. So obviously a big change on the way by the time we get to the middle of the week. And then some more change keeping me busy here in the weather department. Some showers Thursday and a Friday. It does look cooler by Friday into Saturday with high temperatures back into the 40s, Jared. I was watching to see how you were doing that arrow, too. I like yes, that. I know yeah. you were paying close attention. I appreciate you being a good student of meteorology. Yeah, right out of the toolbox, that yellow arrow. Thank you. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News at 10.